I know I speak for all of us when I say that our hearts are with the Uvalde community and with those who might be afraid to step back into the classroom. News 9's Felice Romero spoke to a licensed counselor about how to talk with our children as a lot of families watched it unfold in real time today. Feliz? Parent-child interaction therapist Amy Summers tells me now is the time for parents to listen and validate what their children are feeling. Kids just need someone to listen. A lot of kids will be coming with panic. Oh my gosh, what if this happens to me? The Uvalde community is heartbroken after gun violence claims lives, including many elementary students. Mental health professionals share advice on how to navigate the devastating topic. Finding out first what your child knows is important. There is a chance that your child does not know yet what has happened, so I wouldn't recommend informing them or telling them about the shooting just yet. Amy Summers says parents should be prepared and find out as much information as you can about what happened. Acknowledging, yes, that is scary, that you're always there to, to talk about anything that they need to, being open to any questions questions that, that they have to ask. Listening to how they feel and validating them. One of the worst things that um, a parent can do is to, to be dismissive of their child's feelings. We, we want to be helpful and we want to say, oh, don't worry about that. Um, but, but the child is worried about that. And so just saying, you know, I understand how you could be feeling that way. She says it's also good to be transparent. I think it's okay for parents to say, I don't know why this happened. Look at something like this in the framework of, of a bad choice. We don't know why this person made this choice. Summer says if your child is showing other signs of distress and is withdrawn, acting out, or fearful in public settings, it may be time to seek additional help. Feliz Romero, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.